Hello, welcome or welcome back to Fancy a Bladder Podcast, your weekly online diary of a Scottish gal sharing her Aussie adventures. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode. I don't know why I'm singing like that. Who am I trying to be? I'm still doing weird voice. I haven't been in school in so long, so now my teacher voice comes out all the time. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm so sorry to everyone that is tuning into this podcast for the first time. And is like, what the F is this girl on? Valid question. Um. Anyway, hello, welcome, or welcome back to Fancy a Blethered Podcast. The cosy podcast of your dreams. I'm still doing a weird voice. I will snap out of it eventually. I am Kirsty, your host, the only person in this podcast. So, of course, I'm the host. And I am happy to be back chatting with you all. This podcast has gone through many, many lifetimes since it all began in 2020. And I'm really enjoying using it as a online diary where I'm chronically oversharing online, my mum would say that makes me a little bit of a narcissist. And I would say, you know what, Louise? You're the one that parented me. Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I'm sorry, mum, if you're listening. Um, everyone's a little bit of a narcissist, really. And I'm not really pronouncing that word very well. Narcissist. Anyway, moving swiftly on. This week in my Melbourne Adventures... I have been humbled on more than one occasion, but on one particular occasion this week, so we are going to get into that later. So, we're kicking it off. Last week, I left you with the end of my Sydney trip. I had flown back from Sydney to Melbourne Avalon Airport because I'm dumb and didn't realise there's more than one airport in Melbourne and the one in Avalon is forever away, so I'm an eye so intelligent not. People trust me to teach their children. I know. Insanity. Um, But then on Monday, I met up with the lovely Sam, who I hadn't seen, obviously, in a wee while because I had been away, obviously, in Sydney, like I said. So I got to hang out with... In fact, well, rewind before that. On Sunday, I reunited with one of my favourite people on the planet. Anna and I were reunited and what a fabulous time that was um we went to yoga together on the sunday which was so fun throughout the week we also went swimming at one point and hung out and we went to the gala together from melbourne fringe and yes i love that girl if you're listening hi anna i'm your biggest fan <laughs> said like a stalker or something <laughs> we are friends I promise and um yeah so anyway I reunited with the lovely Sam on Monday and we headed to Williamstown why you may be asking Aussie people well we saw on somebody else's Instagram that we're friends with that they went to the flora and fauna reserve in Williamstown it looked really pretty we added it to our list of things we wanted to do in our school break Because yes, we are those people. I say we, really me. It was me that made the list and the notes app and the Google Maps map of everything that we wanted to do and put all of it in the Google Calendar. I know, who am I? Anyway, we went to Williamstown. We had a lovely time. However, I will say we spent ages looking at birds that we were trying to convince ourselves weren't penguins because they were not penguins, but we weren't convinced entirely that they were not penguins because they looked a lot like penguins so we were standing there for ages waiting to watch and see if one would fly because obviously everyone knows penguins don't fly and we wanted to figure out if they were penguins or not and we spent ages like staring looking over then I started to realize there could be snakes around the place we were in because I was like shit we're in Australia we found the snake signs so there definitely are snakes in that area but we did not see any snakes and I am okay with that I don't know how I would handle seeing a snake. I did Google what to do if you see a snake. So I was like, I probably should know this. I think I would be okay with seeing a snake in a situation where I'm like with a guide that is well used to snakes, I suppose is the term. Is well acquainted with snakes, shall we say. 
And I am not well acquainted with snakes, so I don't wish to see them when I'm just by myself or with my friend who also is not that well acquainted with snakes, because not many people are. Um, so that was an adventure and the signs were quite entertaining to be fair. But the the views from Williamstown, absolutely stunning. We also wandered around some of the shops there, um, some really cute shops there. And then we also went to this donut place that Sam had been to before and then made like fresh donuts, like little donut balls on arrival and they were delicious. I got like the one with white chocolate and some kind of sauce that was really yummy. And then because we're on school holidays, we decided let's have a drink. So we had a drink. We had ourselves a cocktail because it was happy hour for another 15 minutes. So we hopped on that deal and got ourselves a cocktail. And then I, what did I go to the, no. And then headed home because I think the gala was the next day. Maybe, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was. So yeah, yeah. So anyway, so that was our Williamstown day. Lovely, lovely time to be had by all. On Tuesday, I did my first shift at Melbourne Fringe, which was a lot of fun. Um, we... We we're just kind of doing behind the scenes stuff because the festival hadn't like fully opened yet. So um putting up posters was a big part of our day. Filling the tote bags for people going to the gala with like um their pass and their um program. And then also putting the all the leaflets out onto the leaflet stand, which honestly was such like a satisfying job, it, like scratched an itch in my brain. Um and then that night I met up with Anna, so headed to hers. And maybe that is the day. Did we go swimming that day? I don't know. All the days are kind of combining in my brain. I think we went swimming that day together as well, because I didn't have a long shift at the fringe. I think that is our swim. Yeah, we did. We went swimming in a pool near Anna's, which was a really nice pool really good time it was so nice to get back in the pool it's been a while I am planning on doing at least one race while I'm here um I think the one on the 1st of December so stay tuned for updates on triathlon life um I was thinking about doing another one like the end of November but I don't think I want to do two so close together especially when I'm using a bike that like is fine but it's not like my race bike that I'm used to and like and it's just kind of like a 50 dollar hybrid and I'm used to like a road bike situation so I just want to like have fun with this race and it's more about like doing an open water try for the first time because I've never done an open water one and I'm really on tangent here um yeah so after we swam we went back to Anna's changed into our funky outfits and then headed to the gala with her roommate Cara and had a lovely lovely night met some other people um and that was fun. It was a little overwhelming meeting like a lot of people. Um, because Alan knows a lot of people here. Um, so yeah, getting introduced to everyone was really good. But um, yeah, just like my brain sometimes it's like, whoa, this is a lot happening. But it was fine, it was good. We had a really nice night. Um, I loved the gala and then I went home and snoozed because I was sleepy. And then on Wednesday, what did I do on Wednesday? Oh, wait, rewind. Before we go to Wednesday, on Tuesday, I also had two experiences which I'd like to just speak on. First of all, I had a person tell me that they can, like, recognize, they can understand my accent really easily and I don't have a strong accent and blah, 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 which, like, cool, whatever, I don't really care. Like, I'm glad you can understand me. Um, And I don't know, she was giving a lot of other weird, weird energy. And then I said, um, the words panto villain and she said oh yeah I love Berlin and I was like mm, not what I said but I didn't say that because I don't have a backbone and I could not be bothered so I went oh yeah Berlin's nice I've never been to Berlin ever in my life I, I've heard good things the art scene there is meant to be pretty cool but I have not been I also would like to say Australia why do we not have sleeves for coffee cups I am so sick. To be fair, I mostly have iced coffee, so then I don't care. But then my hands get wet, which I don't really like either. But I should just start using my reusable one. But when you give someone a coffee cup with scalding hot coffee in it, and you don't have a sleeve for it, it burns their fingers. And it really freaking hurts. And this has happened so many times to me here. And it's like, 
Oh, not a vibe. I'm going to start asking if I forget my own keep cup. I'm going to start asking to put like a second cup outside of that cup because it will just like contain the heat better because my poor fingertips cannot take it anymore. I don't know like if you have different like skin abilities in me. Am I missing something here? But yeah, I can't do it. No more. So yes, I just had to speak on that because it has been it has been on my brain. And then on Wednesday, I met up with the lovely Sophie. And oh, before I did that, actually, I was up early. Why was I up? Oh, I remember. I went to a uh, class with Anna, I think, again on Wednesday. Potentially. Because I was already... Yeah, I did. We went to a Pilates, a Matt Pilates class on Wednesday morning, which was really good. It was fun. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a really good workout. Um, it was a lot of abs, which was very full on. And then I had a call with um, a teaching agency in New Zealand about like things for the future, potential plans. But I'm trying to live um, a little bit more carefree and a little bit less of a planner s stage of my life right now. So I didn't like make any final decisions. I just wanted to know timelines for when I would need to make a decision. And we have plenty of time. So that is good news. And then, yeah, whilst I, I, so I did that call in a cafe and I had the most insane banana, banana bread ever that morning. They like heated up and gave me butter. Oh, chef's guess it was so yummy. And then I met up with Sophie for a coffee. I also ended up having lunch. Um, and yeah, I also have been on Hinge lately here, which has been an adventure. And I matched with a guy on hinge and uh, let's just say it was not a vibe he um yeah he's like a weird i don't know i have so many thoughts like he was like a camera operator for the races but in all of his instagram was just videos from the races and he didn't have like a single photo or video of himself which is kind of like weird and then i was trying to like see his hedge profile again to see what he looked like um, but he'd like unmatched with me on Hinge because we were now following each other on Instagram and I was like well I actually have no like reference point for what he looks like if we do go on a date and he just got like a little weird like at first it was fine I mean he did ask me like what what's realism which not to be like that person but like really like you don't know what realism is and then um he like was like do you want to call and I didn't reply like straight away and he was like, how are you fine? And I was like, oh my God, this is a lot. Like, there's just a lot of red flags happening very early on in that situation. And I was being that person that was like, let's do it for the plot. Who cares? And then I was like, what am I doing? This is not good. So I am not meeting him. We will not be going on a date. I might be going on other dates, but not with Horseman. That one is well and truly done for because not a vibe. But anyway, I met Sophie for coffee slash I had lunch, um, was really nice. I don't remember the name of the place, but it was good. And um, I also went to a bookshop while I was waiting for her because I love bookshops and I spend too much time in them and I'm not mad about it. And then that night I, and I sent my digital postcard to my little school back home that I had just before summer and that was a lot of fun, got a lovely email back. And then that night I had my first friendship, like of the actual fringe, um, which was a lot of fun. Met some other volunteers and like hung out, gave people directions, just chatted. It was a good vibe. It was a good time. And then on Thursday, I became well and truly humbled by Australia in ways I had forgotten were even possible. So that's a thing. So Thursday I decided to get a haircut. I decided moving to the other side of the world was not a big enough change. And I need to cut my hair like significantly shorter than it has been lately. And I'm back in my French bob era. I do think I was in it before, but not as good as this one is looking. And the guy, the hairdresser who I had, Sam, he absolutely nailed it. Um, however, this haircut appointment took a turn. So the haircut was at like 9.15. Um and it was a was forecasted to be about 25 degrees on Thursday. I had gone in jeans and like a pullover jumper because it wasn't that warm in the morning. And then when I was waiting, I was like fine. And then we were on like the platform bit inside the hairdresser. Like his chairs were on like a higher up level, if you like, in the hairdressers. And um he was chatting away to me. I was wearing my jumper still. And um 
like a gang thing and he was chatting away to me about like something to do with a Scottish person in his life story of my life at the moment what can I say and he um yeah I was chatting chatting and he was cutting my hair like the scissors literally right next to my neck which is fine I trust him he did a great job but I um started to feel really lightheaded which I have fainted before in my life like that is a thing that happens to me on occasion um but I, yeah I just was like oh no this is not good I was starting to feel really lightheaded but then I was like oh maybe this is my head I hadn't actually eaten yet that morning or had coffee and there was a coffee in front of me so I was like maybe I just need to like have some coffee grab a bite to eat like maybe that's a vibe and then I my vision started to go like really really blurry and I was like oh this is uh this is actually gonna be an issue and I was like I'm gonna need to say something because if I pass out mid haircut with the scissors next to my neck like if I pass out in the wrong direction that could be pretty fucking fatal to be fair so I did say to him I'm so sorry I'm feeling like really I had a guy he was like oh my god no no you're fine he so I was like I maybe just need to go to the bathroom or something because I was thinking I'll just splash water on my face or something so I was gonna do that and then I was like oh no that's not happening um could not stand up and then yeah the hairdresser was a life saver he got like a cold wet towel was putting it like around my neck like on my head, forehead, like in all the places to cool me down. I think what happened is that I overheated. I ended up taking my jumper off, which helped a lot. I don't know why the fuck I was wearing a, wearing a jumper in 25 degree heat. Ridiculous, Kirsty. Like, what are you doing? You are not Australian. And, um, yeah. And then his, like, other person working there went and grabbed, like, a hy- they happened to have a hydrolyte, had hydrolytes in their salon already so he made me up a hydrolyte drink and I had that and then I felt way better and we were able to finish the haircut and then Lucky Sam has a story to tell his clients for months so you're welcome because you know a hairdresser loves a story and Australia humbled me so thanks so much for that Australia like cheers and then I went to meet up with the lovely Sam in St Kilda and we were humbled again in the same day Because Sam, well, first of all, I was waiting for the tram, which just didn't show up. I was waiting for like 30 minutes and one of them just didn't come, which is not really a vibe. And then we were going to go to Luna Park, but we never even thought about like booking it, which was kind of silly of us because it's school holidays. But also I'm kind of glad we didn't go because it was so busy and that's like not really the vibe. Like I don't want to go when it's busy. I want to go when it's like quieter and dead so I can have fun. Um, and as a teacher, I don't really like being around a lot of kids when I'm not working, especially when I'm on holiday. Um, so Luna Park was sold out. So that was interesting. So the only problem was that we had both dressed like with the intention of going on roller coasters. So I was literally wearing jeans and I was like, this is not the vibe for a beach. So we sat and had breakfast, which helped a lot as well. It made me feel a lot better. And then ended up going, um... To sit at the beach for a bit and end up buying a skirt to wear instead of the jeans because it was just not a vibe and I needed like a longer black skirt for work anyway especially as we get into hotter months here in Australia so it was worthwhile and then I headed to another Melbourne Fringe shift a uh, reoccurring theme for this week because I just figured I'm off work why not take a bunch and that was fun I hung out with Anna when my shift finished for a little bit and chatted with her and another Bali Shri and then Sophie so kindly walked me to my tram stop and waited with me until the tram came because she is a kind person even though she will not let anyone believe that about her um so that was fun very wholesome energy and then on Friday I was like done with being humble by the world so ham ham <laughs> Sam's gonna be so mad at me that I just called her ham <laughs> Sam and I went to Victoria Market and had ourselves a day. We had so much fun before Sam even arrived and already bought a book because I can't help myself. And then we wandered around Victoria Market, which was a lot of fun. We had some food. I had like um quesadillas and then a jaritos, which is so yummy. I love jaritos. And then there's a Mexican place in Ed- Edinburgh that sells it and it's so good. And then Sam found a ring she really liked and wanted and then I ended up buying it so then she had to get another one because she didn't want us to have matching ones 
and I'm not sorry about it because you're being silly not wanting matching ones and the one she got is cute anyway and I also I'm gonna see sorry bless me I also bought a fleece because that's exactly what I need another fleece but it's so cute it's like red and navy and it has like a little logo that's kind of subtle that says Australia down under with a kangaroo and I just thought it was very wholesome and cute and like unique because I haven't seen anyone else wearing it so I thought it was kind of a vibe so that was fun that guy <laughs> was speaking earlier I ended up blocking also sent me like a link to this YouTube video that of a film you made forever ago and the video was about like a teenager who murdered his mother in the night and then he messages his love interest to start an interview so they can win a competition for immunity from the murder. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. So there we go. There's a vibe I never thought I'd be exploring. Um, so that was another reason. That was another red flag, if we're being honest. And then on Friday night, I was meant to go and see shows, but I was so unbelievably tired after having like a full day at Victoria Market with Sam and then Mia came and joined us and then we grabbed coffee for a while and chit chatted for hours. I just like need to go home and chill and really need some downtime. So I hadn't really had much downtime. So I very much did that and it was a smart, smart move because I was burning out. And I have learned that when you feel like you're burning out, you need to slow down before you actually do fully burn out because that's not fun for anyone. So I learned my lesson the hard way with that once. And then Saturday, I went to Fitzroy Market, which was so much fun. I bought so much there. I bought three t-shirts and a jumper um, because um, it was also nice. I got like a Perth Australia vintage t-shirt that was really cute because I'm from Perth, Scotland and I'm hopefully going to be um, doing Perth Fringe next year. So that's like I will be going to Perth at some point. And it's just funny because like I'm from Perth, Scotland and that's Perth Australia. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Probably no one else thinks it's funny. I don't care. And also I got these one t-shirt that had reading is sexy, another t-shirt that was like book club, and then a jumper that said um something about overthinking. Um and they're all really cute and they're all from the same vendor at Fitzroy Market. Um and I really, really loved that vendor. Uh and I think I Follow them on Instagram, so I will try and find them in the show notes. So I want to say it's like Bookshop by Jess or something like that. And I think she does like custom things, and it's really cool. And then from there, from Fitzroy, we then got Carly and I. Then we were gonna go to the, what was our original plan? It was to go and see a certain show, but then I like couldn't figure out the ticket situation, and then. We were going to go and just like have go to a rooftop thing, but then I realized you needed a tour to do the rooftop thing, and I couldn't see any bookings for that day. And I was like, oh, dang, okay. So then the museum was near the other, and I was like, oh, why don't we go to the museum? So then we were going to go to the museum just to go and like sit in the cafe because I was chucking it down and have lunch. But then it turns out the cafe was inside the museum, and you had to pay $15 entry into the museum. And we didn't really want to go um, into the museum because we didn't have long enough. So we ended up going to another cafe nearby instead, which was fun. And then we went to, um, what did we do? Then we went to the hub and we caught a show, um, Girl Power at Melbourne Fringe, which was, oh.
Oh, please don't do this to me. Okay, so there's probably going to be a weird, awkward pause here because my Wi-Fi just completely shut out. And um, I don't remember the exact last thing I said, so that's fun. Um, yeah, not a vibe. I'm now hotspotting my phone. I am finding that this particular subway I'm living in, I'm having a lot of internet problems, which is not very fun. And um, I am here till December, but I definitely think that, like, once I leave here, I'll be looking for somewhere with a solid internet because it's becoming quite irritating, particularly when I'm recording. So the mood has also changed a little bit, but I'm going to try and bring it back together to round off the episode. So as I was saying, we were at Fitzroy Market and we then grabbed lunch. Carly and I then headed to a friend show called Girl Power, which was essentially about, like, the, um history of girl bands um throughout the time periods and also like um had like mentions of different countries girl bands which i thought was really cool it was really well done very impressive if you are in melbourne i would seriously recommend checking that show i even like kids like i feel like it caters to all ages there's definitely some jokes that like over the top of like younger kids heads but the adults can still have a giggle at um and I think also like kids probably like grade four and up would love it because it's like all about music and it's I don't know I thought it was like really really cool and there was loads that you could do off the back of it as a teacher if you wanted to which I love I love like leaving a situation feeling inspired um yeah and then after my show my show after the show not my show the show I'm not in a show currently I wish that'd be fun Actually, maybe probably best I'm not. I'm a little busy right now as it is. I headed to my shift, which was also there. So I had I didn't go anywhere. I literally put my t-shirt on and went upstairs to the front of house. Um, did my front of house shift, which was fun, pretty chill vibes. And then afterwards, checked out this show called Shitbag, which was amazing. Would highly recommend it to anyone that's looking for a show to watch at the Fringe. It's a really good one. Ended up, like, chatting with two of the other girls who happened to be in the audience for the show. And turns out they just moved here recently from, like, different places. And um, they met each other in the hostel. They're currently staying in Melbourne. And now we're going to, like, meet up and do something. I think we're going to, like, the night market on Wednesday, which is cute and fun. Um, yeah, it's always nice finding other people that are, like, here, um, from abroad and stuff, because I'm also, like, it gives you people to hang out with at certain times of year when people who live here might be, like, back home with their families and stuff, so that's cool and fun, and that kind of rounds off the week, I guess, that was Saturday, and then today I did have some things happen that were pretty entertaining and fun, but I'm going to save them for next week's episode because I think you will all love them. So stay tuned. So stay tuned for next week's episode. It will be out on Sunday. It is available on literally probably where you're currently listening on all platforms, all podcast platforms. And um, yeah, that's about it. Have a good week, team. And next week, I have fun stories from today. And also, I'm heading back to school tomorrow. So I'm sure I will have stories from that. And before I go, I will leave you with one more humbling moment, which was that yesterday there was a slug on my bathroom floor. Now, I don't mind spiders. In, I mean, I've never seen a really big one here so far, which is good. But like, I don't really mind spiders in general. Sophie and Anna are probably going to deny this because there was one day where I was really freaked out. But in general, I don't tend to mind spiders. I was particularly tired that day. Um, but, like, the one thing that really freaks me out, especially after this past summer, where I spent some time working with a, chi- um, a teenager with um, autism whose obsession with slugs 
was with slugs and he put them on his hand and they just really grossed me out and I just don't want to touch them. They're so slimy and gross and ugh, I can't. Like, no. That's, like, one thing. Like, slugs and ants is another one. Like, really freaked me out. Like, I really am not a fan. So funny when my bathroom floor was not what I wanted for my evening last night. So that was not a vibe and I was very much humbled. Again, so leaving you on that note. Um, yes, but if you want to follow along with more stories... I have been on my TikTok game lately. If you want to see the new haircut, I'm just about to post TikTok about it. You can find it at Stories and Stanzas. Um, stories just like as in plural for story and as in and the connective word and conjunction. Is that a conjunction? I should know that. And um, stanzas as in like the stanza of a poem, but pl plural. And um, we are also on Instagram. It's just at stories and underscore stanzas. And the website is www.storiesandstanzas.com. I'll be posting more stuff on the website too, including like writing and stuff like personal essays is something I'm trying to get back into. Um, yeah, but um, that's about it for me. So have a good one. Don't forget to follow slash subscribe. Always a struggle to say those words. Um, so you never miss an episode and have a good week guys thank you bye